Hi, my name's Simon Nameby and I'm a panel member of the Rugby World Fitness Factory. This is a series of videos aimed at giving you rugby specific strength and conditioning exercises. With any training, there is the risk of injury and if you're not sure what you're doing, you must seek professional help. You must also make sure that you warm up and cool down properly each time you train. This exercise is the power clean. The power clean teaches explosive development through the whole body and it works the pulling pattern. The power clean is very important for rugby as it develops explosion but also balance, coordination, flexibility and core strength. Okay, the power clean. The first part of the power clean, as I said, is essentially a deadlift. So we get ourselves with a bar above the middle of the foot, double overhanded grip, head in a good position, and a nice flat back with the shoulders above the bar. From here, we go into the first pull from the floor. The first pull from the floor is essentially a deadlift to just below the knee. This can be done reasonably slowly. From here, we go into the transition, which is a fine explosion of the hips into an upright position. Here. From the transition, we then go into the second pull, where we get ourselves underneath the bar into the rack of recovery and stand ourselves up with the elbows nice and high and the bar sitting squarely across the front of the shoulders. Feet back together, control the bar back down, and that's the power clean. The key points to remember with the power clean are there are four distinct phases. The first pull from the floor is essentially a deadlift and comes to just below the knees. The transition is the explosion through the hips coming into upright and bending the elbows with a slight shrug. The second pull is getting the body underneath the bar and the rack and recovery is driving the elbows up and forward and standing up into a standing position. Common faults with the power clean are rounding the back. You must stay flat and strong, exactly the same as you do in the deadlift. The bar often moves too far away from the body and you must keep the bar as close to the body throughout the movement as possible. Not enough hip drive is a massive problem in the power clean and you must make sure that you're exploding through the hips to get the bar explosively up towards the ceiling. The final problem is the elbows being too far back in the rack position. You must drive them up and lock that bar into the rack position across the front of the shoulders. I hope you enjoyed this exercise. Make sure you come back next week for the following instalment.